This is Dee's do. Hey, Dee's do. I didn't speak to you for many weeks. I've been really quite busy with the Earth's problems. Uh -huh. However, I'm the only one that can speak to you about these kinds of matters. Okay. That would be appropriate. Okay. Much has happened. Are you aware of the earthquakes and the things that are happening on the West Coast now? No. Nope. Many earthquakes. Mm -hmm. Just as we had predicted earlier. I see. But they're not as bad as they could be. They're only in the six range. They could be higher. And we are afraid that there is a higher one coming. But now we're also sending people to Iceland. Much tumult under the earth there. We pushed it down in one side of the world and it's coming up on the other, so... I understand. Thank you for all the work you're doing. I'm worried, worried that there is too few aliens are working on the ground with our governments and military and politics. I think it would be we, much great, nicer if we had like ten or hundred or thousand times more aliens well, dealing with that. Then we'd be taking over and we're not supposed to do that. I know, but still you can uh, develop sort of under uh, grassroots communities which would deal like help help humans. Do you know how work. much negotiation we had to do to get four people into Congress? It was years of negotiations, years, not days, not months, but years of negotiations. And I understand that you cannot influence top leaders, but how about helping the grassroots people? Like, Yes, we have more people in the grassroots area than we do in the government. Nice. But I still don't assume it's like few people, not... Well, more than four yeah. that we have in, the, and we only have two in the House of Representatives. Well, actually, there's more now, but that took years of negotiation as well. So, so who, who would approve it? Who would, who would they negotiate with? We started negotiation with Richard Nixon. Yeah, I mean, why, why would you need approval for that? From uh, okay, how about doing that on the orbit? Just people on the orbit, the aliens, like I, as I propose in my book, creating the colonies specifically to deal with politicians on the orbit. Inviting politicians, celebrities, activists. Yes, there are celebrities that are aliens. No, other way around. Aliens, say, hundreds of aliens sitting in the colony number, whatever, 15th, dealing with politics. And inviting politicians and others to visit and train them and this way influence their work basically so they, they don't interfere but you invite and help yes that's been worked on as well don't you think that there are a lot of a particularly interesting democratic artists out there you're cryptic I, I don't follow that. Uh, I mean, I'm not following the artists and Democrats, but of course there is a lot of nice people. Yes. Yes, I won't, I won't be cryptic. There are people helping with the persuasion of the people to move in the right direction. Yes, yes. So, but yes. I wish there was more of that. We didn't speak to anyone. You can't there. have too much without anarchy. It cannot be pushed to a great level. However, we are working on your government in many ways. As many ways as we can. And many other governments as well. You're not the only one that we're working with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I feel it's not sufficient because bad things happen and I don't see much progress. I see it's we cannot do everything for you. We cannot do that. That is not what we are here for. You must understand, you have to do some things on your own as a species. We can help you and we are helping you as much as we possibly can. 
There is no more room for us to help you without being directly involved in everything that you stand for. So that, therefore, you must understand we are doing our best. We cannot do more than we are doing without overstepping our boundaries with governments as it is. We are at our capacity. Yes, as aliens you cannot, but how about... And we are training humans to do things. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You, but not fast enough for you, I understand. Yes. But if it was too fast, it would be obvious. Don't you see that? Right. Um, that's the idea, yeah. Training humans, yes. That's what we're doing, yes. And we're allowed to do that, but not in great groups. Right. So it can't be too obvious. But, you see, our... Our means do not bode well with your governments, mm -hmm. and they figure by the time we teach enough people, they'll be out of the picture so that the next group will have to worry about it, and they won't. Uh -huh. So that is their modus operandi, as they call it. Yes. And they do that so that they won't suffer, mm -hmm. but perhaps... A couple of generations down the road will have to deal with it, mm -hmm. and they'll be out of the picture, and they'll have their money, and they will have had their power and their say, and it won't matter any longer. I understand. So, yes. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Oh, yes. We are aware. It is frustrating for us, of course. Frustrating for us to see how you move in government, how they move in government, how you move, how they, however, who moves in government, because they always have that great power and money thing wrapped up. Mm -hmm. If one doesn't like the power, he likes the money. If one doesn't like the money, he likes the power. <laughs> and some like both. And sex. Or it, it's part of money and power, I guess. Because once they taste of it, they don't want to give it up. It's not easy. Some would, but only if others would. So it those that are weak might, or actually strong might, but they would want support, and they would not get it. Do you understand? Of course. Yeah. They would not get the support they needed to of step course. out oh, and say, this is the way it should be. They would not do it. Because they would have no support and they would be wiped out and they would live in poverty the rest of their lives because no one would give them a job. Of course. At least that's their fear. Of course, I understand. But somebody would give them a job, of course, but it wouldn't be making the money they're making now. And they know that. So therefore, it remains. But you wanted to ask me about you. Right, right, right. <laughs> Your thoughts, they go in and out. Perhaps calming your thoughts for a bit. Your brain works so much as it is. Let me give you a little calming energy. Oh, I see Ritka thinks she's a human being. She wants to talk. Do you hear her going, row, 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 row? <laughs> she is trying to imitate human speech. No, she just sees someone, a dog outside. And that's it. And she defends the house. Yes, that's part of it. But she wants to speak to them like a human would speak to them. Mm. She wants to let them know that she is a higher form of being than they are. 
And you know what? They, they understand that. So I have to go now. They're calling me back. There is some kind of weather situation in the Mideast. Not in the Mideast, the Midwest. All right. Good luck. Thank you much.